Hey everybody, today I am going to be doing a pour with a sink strainer, disposable sink strainer. I've done a, um, a couple of them before and I like them. So this time I actually put down half black and half white on my canvas and I had seen a trick somewhere um, on YouTube video that I had watched where she used a comb or a pick, excuse me, a pick and helped spread the paint. And I found one of these it was either Home Depot or Lowe's um, for like a dollar or something and it works great you just put the paint on and you smooth it over like that and it really coats it nice and even and then if there's any little air bubbles you either just tap it or sometimes I'll use my torch and just go over it lightly and it pops the bubbles so the colors that I'm working with today I have um, uh, violet and actually that one is Folk Art Eggplant is the, the name of it. And then I have this color right here. And that one is Craft Smart. It's called Mediterranean. And then I made a navy myself with phthalo blue, um, violet, and black, and a little bit of white. And then I'm also using this pink, and that is from The Fine Touch. And it's just regular pink. And then my black and my white are from Artist Loft. They're my flow acrylic is, is what it's called, flow acrylic. Anyway, so I'm going to get started and I'm going to put um, there's a little, few bubbles in there. I'm going to start with the pink in the bottom first. I'm going to go with some navy. I'm going to try to and Mediterranean. It's a really pretty color. I think I'll go with another. Actually, I'm going to put a squirt of alcohol in there. Two squirts, 91% isopropyl, that's what I always use. I'm going to put a little bit more of that in there. And top it off with some eggplant. And another squirt. And I think I'll put a little bit of navy over that. A little bit more of the Mediterranean. All right, so I'm going to move my colors out of the way. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. I'm actually going to use this. It might seep out a little bit. Use that. It's hard to get that on there just right. <laughs> I'm going to use that to flip it. That didn't work. I'm just going to put it like that. Oh, it's coming out. It's coming out. Okay, so I'm just going to drag it. Dragging it too hard. There we go. Got some of the white in there. All right. I kind of covered more than I had wanted to because there's a, I had a lot of more paint in there. I'm going to run that off. There we go. Nope. Didn't quite go over the edge. There. Oh, I like how that... 
cells are starting to pop up a little bit there. So I'm really happy with how that has turned out. You can see there's quite a bit of cells all throughout. Even little little ones just popped up. Random. But I really like this part right here and even this little spot. That's really nice. Okay guys, so here it is from my side. And I'm going to give you guys a close up. slow because sometimes it doesn't focus. I think that turned out really, really cool. I like these. I like this color combination anyway. I mean, you know, it's one of my favorite combinations, I guess. It usually blends very well. The colors blend well with each other. That, I really like that spot right there too. And I like the ribbons. And then there's some cells throughout a little bit, just here and there. And then there's some more popping up too, because I don't think those were there before, but I like that. And that, I really love that. That's like my favorite part with the, the ribbons and the cells in it. All right, so it's all done and that was um, a fun little project to do. And hopefully you guys liked it and go get a sink strainer and try it for yourself. All right, thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.